Lesson two for polynomials is multiplying binomials. So this is going to be a short little lesson. It comes from Math Power 10, the textbook, which I will leave the link to. And there's lots of homework questions on page 137, 138. So give those a try. And if you're having any problems, if there's one that you stumped with, leave a little comment below and I will work it out for you. Okay, so when you see something like this, and it says, find the product. Product just means, what do you get when you multiply these things together, right? How do you multiply two binomials? So when you're multiplying by two binomials, you want to do this term here. So we're gonna make, I'm gonna make little rainbows here for you. So you're doing X times this one, and then you're doing X times this one, and then you have to do plus two times each of these ones. So you might have heard of FOIL, which says first, outsides, insides, last. I find that really hard to remember, like first and outsides. I mean, it just seems so easy to say, I take this one and multiply it by each of those. I take this one, and multiply by each of those. Kind of like a little rainbow is going on here. That's my preferred method. So if you've used FOIL, that's great. And this is what we're doing with this lesson here. So I do X times X. So when I multiply X times an X, you probably remember, maybe you worked with algebra tiles and you had an X. So you had like a bar here and you had a bar here. And then you ended up with this thing here, which was an X squared. So X times X, if you're into algebra tiles, you get an X squared. So x squared, and then I do x times minus 3. Watch your signs, so that's minus 3x's, and 2 times x, plus 2 times plus x, that's plus 2x, and 2 times minus 3, so positive times a negative is a negative, and 2 times 3 is 6. Now all you have to do is combine these like terms. So when you multiply a binomial, you should get a trinomial. So I'm going from two to three terms. So minus three plus two is minus one and minus six. Now, if you're following along, you might want to go to the question, write it down and see if you can do it. And if you can, then maybe you don't even need to go to this homework, but it's good review for you. Okay, so again, I'm going to expand so sometimes it might say expand and simplify that's another way of describing the work that you do and again i think some students just get mixed up in what am i supposed to do with this stuff so this says i have 3x minus 2 in this bracket and i'm multiplying all of that by everything in this bracket so we get down to some of these other ones. I'll show you some other little things you have to watch out for. So again, I'm doing the first one. I'm going to multiply it by each of the terms in the second bracket. And then I take the second term with its sign and multiply it by each of the terms in the next bracket. So I have 3x times 2x. So using the laws of exponents, an x times an x is an x squared. You might think of that as these are both to the power of one. So I add them and I would get x squared. Or again, you could think of this little algebra tile example. So three times two is six and x times x is x squared. Now I'm going to do three x times four. So three times four is 12. And don't forget your x. Now I have negative two, so be careful. I have minus two times positive two, that's going to be minus four x. And then minus two times plus four is negative eight. And then I just have to combine those two terms in the middle here. So 12 minus four is eight x's minus eight. And there you go. It's not that hard, right? You can do this. Okay, in this example here, I have a three outside, so this says, 3 times this, and then times this. And I know some students get all mixed up because they want to multiply the 3 times everything, and it's sort of like multiplying three things twice, right? So let's say I didn't have any brackets here, and I said, what's um, 3 times 2 times 4? So you would say, well, 3 times 2 is 6, times 4 is 24. That's what you would get, right? You'd get 24. So 
just like this, just because we have something in bracket, don't try, you wouldn't say three times two and then three times four, right? That wouldn't work. So you do three times this bracket and then you can multiply it all times this bracket. Or you can do the three times what's in here and then multiply it by that. But basically, I would say I'm going to do three times what's in this bracket. So do it step by step. So I would have 6x plus 15. It's still in bracket, so. And I'm multiplying this now times x minus 1. So that kind of straightens us out into making it a much easier question just by multiplying this 3 by one of these brackets. Now you could do it another way. You could make a big bracket here like this and you could multiply these together and then multiply everything by 3 because multiplication is commutative. It's one of those properties. If I said uh, 3 times 2 times 4, that's the same as 3 times 8 or that's the same as, I could do these two first, 6 times 4. So you can see how it doesn't matter which order you do it in as long as you're not multiplying things twice. Okay, so just be careful with that. Okay, so now I'm going to make my little rainbow here. So I have 6x times x and 6x times negative 1 and then 15 times x and 15 times minus 1. So do it step by step. Don't get frustrated. Just take your time. I'm going to erase that one there. I don't have an eraser handy. So I'm going to do 6x times x and that's 6x squared and 6x times minus 1 minus 6x and 15 times x that's plus 15x and then 15 times negative 1 is minus 15. So now you combine like terms so I have 6x squared and I combine these two that's going to give me plus 9x and then minus 15. Okay, and later you're going to find out that this is the expanded form and this is what we call the factored form. We'll get back to the factoring soon enough. Okay, so here's a really long one. So you can see we have 2 times all this minus this times this. So when you see this minus sign, again, remember I told you in the last lesson how important those negative signs are. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a big bracket around this to make sure that I expand these two terms first and then change the signs because this is minus 1 times everything in that bracket. And this time, just to be different, I'm going to do 2 times and I'm going to do what's in this bracket first. So you can see how it, it doesn't matter because again it's the commutative property. So I'm going to do 2 and then I'm going to do x times x. So I'm just going to do this in pencil this time. So once you've done the little rainbows a few times you'll be able to just see it while you're doing it. So x times x is x squared and then I have x times negative 1 and then I have 6 times x and 6 times negative 1. Oops, I forgot a sign here, right? 6x and then minus 6. And then I have minus, now be really careful, you might even want to put that in red, and in brackets, now I have x times x, x times minus 3, plus 2 times x, and plus 2 times minus 3. Okay, so it's moving along very nicely here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this before I multiply by 2 and simplify this one before I multiply by this negative. So leave your 2 and simplify this, which means combining the like terms here. So negative 1 plus 6 is 5 minus 6 and minus, I have a squared term, Minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1x minus 6. Okay, now I'm going to do the last little part here. Well, it's not the last. We still have more to do. But 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times 5x is 10x. And 2 times minus 6 is minus 12. 
And this negative 1 means I'm going to change the sign of every term in this bracket. So this one was positive, now it's negative. This one was negative, now it's positive. This one was negative, now it's positive. And finally, you're going to gather like terms. So my x squareds, so I'm going to put little wiggly lines under it. So this is this one and this one. And then I have this one with this one. And then I have my constant here and a constant there. Okay, so that's your like terms. They can be combined. So 2 minus 1, that's 1x squared. 10x plus 1 more, that's 11x's. And minus 12 plus 6 is minus 6. So there you go. Now we've done the entire lesson. This is a, talk, a long question, right? So just because it looks really long, it's not hard. It's just you need to take your time and do it step by step. Okay, so the last one here, another long one. And again, you might want to just write this down, pause the video, write it down, and try it, and then come back and and you can follow and make sure that you follow the same steps. So I'm going to start off by putting brackets around the multiplications that need to be done first. So I'm going to do it the same way as I did the last time. Oh, that pen doesn't work so well. Let's get the pink one. Okay, so I'm going to do this to here, and I'm going to do these two first because this right here, this negative sign, this is like a stop sign. Uh, 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 uh. Stop, okay? It's like, oh no, there's a negative sign. Remember that. Okay, so I'm leaving the two out front and I'm going to do three y times y. I'm not gonna write in the, the magic arrows this time. I've got it figured out. This one times this one, this one times this one. So minus 3y, and then I have plus 2y, and then I have 2 times negative 1 is minus 2, minus, and I'm going to do, I'm just going to do round brackets now because I'm going to be removing one set of these brackets inside, right? Just like I did here. So y times 2y is 2y squared y times 1 is plus y, 2 minus 2 times positive 2 is minus 4y, and minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. In the next step, don't try to, to skip steps because if you, if you do that, you're more often likely to make a mistake when, you know, you don't need to make mistakes on this stuff. It's not hard, but you can make mistakes just by racing through. So minus three, minus 3 plus 2 is going to be minus 1y minus 2 minus, so 2y squared. I'm only combining these ones, right? Those are the only like terms. So y minus 4, 1 minus 4 is minus 3y minus 2. And now I'm going to do the final expansion here before I do my last simplification. So 2 times everything in these brackets, because that's what it says. It says 2 times everything in the bracket. This says minus 1 times everything in the bracket. Okay, so let's do 2 times each of these terms. So I have minus 2y minus 4, and I'm going to change the sign of everything in this bracket. So minus 2y squared plus 3y plus 2. Okay, and finally, I'm going to gather like terms. So I have 6y squared minus 2. That's going to be 4y squared minus 2 plus 3. That's 1y. And minus 4 plus 2 more is minus 2. Okay, so that's a quick lesson on multiplying binomials. Each one of these little sections comes with a lot of homework and a lot of practice. It's essential that your skills are really good. You use them forever. And again, it's Math Power 10. And this is from page um, 137, 138. There's a whole bunch of practice of this type of work 
to make sure. And mind you, if you have gone through these and you did them all right, then maybe you don't need to do that homework, but some of you, it's probably a good idea. Okay, so that's lesson two. Subscribe and tell your friends. Um, this is my first uh, venture into the grade 10 curriculum. If you've noticed, my channel has a lot of grade 11. I have the grade 11 functions, grade 12 advanced functions, and grade 12 calculus and vectors. So you'll be all set till the end of grade 12. Bye for now.